Now I want to show you just how inflated the numbers on TikTok are both for views and for followers. Now I want to show you my followers at the moment of this filming. As you can see, I have nearly 2000 followers, but let me show you how fake they are. And this is not something I'm doing. They're just coming to me. When I click on the followers and I look at the followers, look at the followers. Do you see a pattern? They're bot accounts, like bot, not purchased. I mean like robot, right? Look at how fake the names are. The second one, the third one, the fourth one is just basically people typing into keyboard random letters, right? The intelligent design looks like the only person here, this right here, the top one. But after that, it's all like fake. And you can also look at the pictures. A lot of the pictures are the same and repeating people just holding money and stuff, you know, like if you look at it closely, it's like basically people holding money, holding money, holding money. And if I scroll enough, you will see they repeat like this position here, like this kind of a situation, the one that's on top, right? Like that or that, you'll see this kind of a thing repeats. Basically just people with money, people with money. And it's all these fake accounts. You see here we have them together. You see this one, that, and this one, and also this one, which is crazy. And if you look even closer, they repeat a lot. So the last about 400 followers that I have are all like this, totally fake. I haven't promoted for a while because I uploaded a song, this song, a few weeks ago. And, you know, I just haven't had a song to upload. So it stayed relatively quiet, no activity from me. But my account grew from 1,500 to about 2000 people from that time. Now, I'm not even trying. Imagine somebody trying to get fake followers. It's so easy, right? Now, also you'll see again how fake this stuff is. That's just the followers, super fake, and TikTok doesn't police it very much. On the other hand, I have an Instagram account and I hired somebody to promote and they accidentally or not accidentally gave me a bunch of fake followers and also very easy to spot. I didn't ask for that, but for some reason they thought I wanted that and I got it. And what I've been seeing on my Instagram is that the numbers of followers are going down like every two weeks or so, Instagram is deleting about 100 or 50 of the fake followers and I see it. But on TikTok, no such thing has happened so far. So that means that there's a ton of fake accounts. So if you see somebody with 10,000 followers, Maybe just dozens of them are real. It could be that bad because that's actually what's going to happen in my case because the way I got my first 1,500 followers is not from people I know, but from running a little ad. So you see that in my views, I have 132 views on the latest one, 168 views on second latest one, and then boom, 3,600 views on the next one, and then also the 3,000 views on the next one and then 3,000 views on the next one, right? And then after that, it's a drop off. It's really uneven. Now, of course, you might assume, oh, these went viral. No, they didn't. I just used TikTok ads. And if you target really cheap demographics, you can get views for pennies per view. But actually, it's way cheaper than pennies per view because what happens in a TikTok video when a video ends, it just restarts. So it's like two views, three views, four views, from the same person. What if they left their phone on for a while? You can get thousands of views from the same person. Of course, that's super rare, but as an example. And that's what happened here. I ran really cheap ads and immediately my account looks amazing. Now imagine if I tried to get fake followers. Now I'm not even trying. Imagine if I bought some service on some freelancing site. I'm sure I can get thousands of fake followers or barely real ones, you know, kind of dormant accounts. And if I ran an ad just for five or $10 on every post, but got a ton of views, I would look like a legitimate influencer, like an amazing up and coming musician, right? Which let's say I will be in the end, but at the moment we're just talking about how it's so easily faked. So the current influencers, sure, some of them are talented and great people, but look how easy and actually really cheap it is for me, if I was dishonest, here I'm super transparent about everything and honest. But imagine if I was dishonest, imagine how big I can grow and I can get all kinds of sponsorships, I can get 
new fans because they would think, oh my God, he's amazing. He's got 10,000 followers, 15,000, 20, 100,000. It's really cheap to get. And it's not like they're gonna go look at my follower list and browse it. Of course not, nobody does that. So it looks real, people are generally trusting. They don't realize the extent to which the views and the follower numbers on TikTok are hyper inflated, but that's what I wanted to show you in this video, how crazy inflated all of these numbers are. So don't be impressed when you see people on TikTok with big numbers. A big part of it is fake, and a big part of it is just TikTok making itself seem like a popular platform by making the users seem popular. It's kind of like a fake it till you make it. Sure, it's a big platform, but not nearly as big as they're working to make themselves look.